Hello guys, I welcome you all to Engineers Academy. Uh, do hit the subscribe button if you haven't done it yet. Now we are going to start that chapter 15 from Hebler Dynamics and chapter 15 is the impulse and momentum. So this is the first problem from chapter 15 Hebler Dynamics and the problem says that a man kicks the 150 gram ball such that it leaves the ground at an angle of 60 degrees and strikes the ground at the same elevation a distance of 12 meters away. Determine the impulse of his foot on the ball at A. Neglect the impulse caused by the ball's weight while it is being kicked. So since this is chapter 15, so we have to apply the principle of uh, impulse and momentum. So this is the principle of impulse and momentum which says that the initial momentum of the ball plus the impulse provided by the foot of the main are due to the or we can say that the impulse provided by the external forces that will be equal to the the final momentum of the ball right so uh, we we can write that this is the impulse uh, which is required right so in the problem statement we said that determine the impulse of the foot Right, so this is the total impulse. This is the summation of the impulses of all the external forces. So this is that total impulse. Right, so we will write it as I. And is we know that initially the ball is at rest, so V1 is zero, so this will become zero. And so this is zero plus total impulse of the foot, and that will be equal to M V2. So we need to find the velocity of the ball uh, when, uh, when the main kicks it, right? Since this ball is following the projectile motion, so we have to apply the kinematics to find that V2 velocity, that is the final velocity of this ball when it is kicked. So let's say that uh, since the ball is moving with the projectile motion, so let's say that this is our uh, positive x and y direction, let's say this is my positive x. And initially the ball is at the origin, initially the ball is here. Right. This is the initial position of the ball. So in the problem statement it is said that the ball is kicked and it moves uh, with an angle of the velocity is making 60 degree angle. So this is the velocity vector. So the velocity will have two components. This is this will be if this is 60 degree angle this is V cos of 60 and then this is uh, V sine of 60. So in the problem statement is said that the ball comes to exactly the same elevation after uh, traveling 12 meter distance right so it it strikes the ground somewhere here let's say the ball strikes the ground somewhere here and this distance is the distance the horizontal distance is 12 meter it is given this is that is 12 meter this is given here right and it comes to the same elevation. So this means that if the ball is initially at the origin of our coordinate system, if this is my coordinate system, so the initial coordinates are 0, 0. And then when, when again it travels a distance of 12 meters, it again comes to the same elevation. So here the coordinates will be, uh, the y coordinate will be 0 and the x coordinate will be 12 meters since the, it is 12 meters away from that origin. So that is 12 and 0. So the y coordinate is 0. So it, it travels a distance like this, it follows a projectile motion. So here at a distance of 12 meter we need to find that v2. So once we find v2 we will multiply it by that mass, so we will be able to find the impulse that is provided by the, uh, the foot of the main, right. So as we know that uh, if we consider the projectile motion, if we consider the motion in the horizontal direction that is in the positive x direction. So we know that uh, x, the final position of the projectile will be equal to x naught plus v naught x into t. So this is the initial coordinates or the initial position of the projectile is x naught and y naught and this is uh, x and y. So x naught is 0, this will become 0 and x so x is given, x is 12, that x is 12, so we will write that this is 12. And this is v naught x, this is v naught x. So that is the horizontal component of the velocity. So this is v cos of 60 
into t and now from this equation we can write that t is 12 v cos of 60 and cos of 60 uh, cos of 60 is 0.5. So, 12 divided by 0.5 will become 24 right. So, we can write that 12 divided by cos of 60 will become 24. So, this is 24. So, we can write that this is 24 divided by v. So, 24 divided by v. So, this is the time that the ball will take to reach that uh, to travel that horizontal distance of 12 meter. And now if we consider the motion in the vertical direction that is in the positive y direction. So, this is our positive y direction. So, again we will have y equals to y naught plus v naught y into t and since the velocity is decreasing in the positive y direction. So, the acceleration will be negative and that will be 9.81. So, we will write that minus 1 divided by 2 or we can say that this is plus and the acceleration is negative that is 9.81 into t square. So, now again y naught is 0 the initial coordinate is of y naught is 0 and y is also 0 as well right? y is 0 as well. So, this will become 0. So, we can write that this is 0 equals to 0 plus and v naught y is this thing this is v sin of 60 v sin of 60 and we know t in terms of v. So, t is 24 divided by v and then this is 9.81 divided by 2, uh, 9.81 divided by 2. So, this is 4.905 minus 4.905 into t square. So, again t is 24 divided by v. So, this will become 24 square divided by v square. So, we can write this is uh, here this v will cancel out, this v will cancel out. So, this is 0, this is 24 sin of 60, that is 24 sin of 60. This gives us uh, 20.785, this is 20.785 minus and this is 24 square into 4.905. So, 24 square into 4.905 this gives us 28 25.28. So, that is 28 25.28 divided by v square and now if I bring this term to the other side of equation. So, it will become negative. So, we will have the equation like this. This is negative as well. So, this will cancel out and we can cross multiply. So, from this equation we can say that v square is 28 25.28 divided by 20.785 and if we want to find the velocity after the impact. So, that will be the final velocity. So, that is 28.25.28 divided by 20.785. So, this is the velocity when the ball is kicked right. So, that is v and this is 11.659, 11.659 meter per second. So, now the before kick the velocity is uh, v1 right. So, the velocity v1 was 0. So, that is velocity v1 which is 0 in this uh, principle of impulse and momentum equation and then when the uh, when the ball uh, comes in contact with the foot. So, the there is uh, some force which is transferred uh, in the shape of impulse. So, that impulse is equal to mv2. So, that velocity uh, which we have determined is v2. So, that v2 is 11.659 right. So, this is the impulse is mass, mass is 150 grams, so 150 divided by 1000. So, this will convert it into kgs multiply by that velocity which is 11.659. So, 11.659. So, this is 150 divided by 1000 into 11.659. So, this is 1.749. So, the impulse of the foot is 1.749, 1.749.
सेवन वन पॉइंट सेवन फोर नाइन एंड द यूनिट्स आर न्यूटन सेकेंड सो दिस इज द रिक्वायर्ड आंसर फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर प्रॉब्लम आई होप दिस विल हेल्प यू इन यूर लर्निंग लेट मी नो इन द कामेंट्स इफ दिस हेल्प इन यूर लर्निंग आल्सो सब्सक्राइब इंजीनियर्स अकेडमी फॉर द सोल्यूशन ऑफ सच मोर प्रॉब्लम्स फ्राम हिबलर डायनामिक